What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Life Orb Scissor team that also features Screen Scrim Snarl and Choice Scarf Urshifu. You guys ready to deal? If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. But uh, this team right here has a lot of cool Pokemon that I really like. Like I already mentioned, we have the Life Orb Scissors, such a strong Pokemon, especially with Technician and Bull Punch. We got Screen Scrim Snarl, but we also have Frigoraph. And Frigoraph's a great Pokemon for stopping first turn priority teams such as Shen Pao and Dragonite. And on top of that, it has Imprison Trick Room. So a great Pokemon to actually counter Trick Room. Should be a fun one. We should be able to rock out on the ladder, grab some wins for you guys. But first Pokemon that we're going to talk about is going to be Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl has got Prankster and the Cover Cloak. Then its moveset is fairly normal with Spirit Break, Reflect, Light Screen, and Thunder Wave. Most of the time, Grim Snarl rocks Light Clay because it will give the screens longer turns, but Cover Cloak works fine, protects us from fake outs. Ogre Pond is in our second slot, one of the best regulation E Pokemon. It's got Mold Breaker and Heart of Flame Mask, Rockin' Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Encore, and Spiky Shield. In our third slot, we got a nice support Thunderous on today's team with Prankster and the Citrus Berry. It's got Thunderbolt for Stab, Rain Dance for some weather control, plus pairing it up with Urshfu makes Urshfu pretty strong. It's got Electric Terrain for some terrain control, and then Leer for defense drops. In our fourth slot, we got our heavy hitter, Urshifu, with Choice Scarf and the Unseen Fist. It's got Surgeon Strikes, it's got Close Combat, U-Turn, and Aqua Jet. Fifth Pokemon is going to be my boy. It is going to be Technician Life Orb Scissor. This scissor right here has got the Fire Terror type with Bullet Punch, Bug Bite, Dual Wing Beat, and Protect. Absolutely love Scissor on the rank ladder, especially when going up against like Shen Pao teams. This Pokemon is an absolute menace. Final slot on today's team is going to be Frigoraph. And like we already mentioned, it is a great Pokemon to counter Trick Room and a great Pokemon of stopping first turn priority moves. It's got Armor Tail alongside with Rocky Helmet. Rocking Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Imprison, and Trick Room. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Life Orb Scissor team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a pretty strong team. They got Tornadus and Cresselia for two of their support Pokemon, and then they're also rocking out with Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, Urshifu, and King Gambit. And King Gambit has been so strong as recently, just such a great Pokemon all around. I absolutely love it, but Scissor is definitely going to be coming in here. Do I want to lead him is the real question. He's going to be super effective onto the Fluttermane, and also super effective onto the Ogre Pond with the Wing Beat, and Cresselia with Bug Bite, so I do like Scissor here in this battle so i don't know if i'm gonna lead it maybe i want to lead some screen scrim snarl that's actually a great option for us so i'm gonna go screen scrim snarl i'm also going to lead it with do i go scissor here i could go scissor i do have the fire terror type to kind of deal with other pokemon as well such as ogre pond so that's not bad that is not bad you know what? i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go grim snarl i'm gonna go scissor i'm gonna bring choice scarf urshfu as a nice back-end Pokemon, and then obviously, got to bring in our big-time play. It's going to be Ogre Pond in our fourth slot. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, we're locking it in, we're locking it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Always, always fun to start off a nice little match number one. But uh, I got a nice little hockey story for you guys. I know you guys like uh, when I talk about my personal life and what I do off-camera, all that good stuff. But I had a championship hockey game for my hometown. So it was just like a mess around league, had a lot of fun. I ended up losing 7-4. to It was a good game. I had a hat trick and an assist. So I had a really good game. Our team just lost. But hey, it was a lot of fun. Definitely was a lot of fun. The refs did make some bad calls. They really did. Supposedly one of the goals that I scored shouldn't have counted. I thought it would have counted. But uh, the opposing team ended up hitting the crossbar. I was just right in front of the net when it happened. It hit the crossbar and the ref blew the whistle and he was like, hey, that's a goal. I just was just like, what? This, that might have been the worst call I've ever seen. And then kind of got a little rowdy after that. But all around, had a good time, had a good season. We're back to the Pokemon content. They got King Gambit and they also led Ogre Pond, I believe. Yeah. Ogre Pond and King Gambit. So definitely a Reflect's going to come out here, correct? I'm going to set up a Reflect and I am just going to Terrasilize here. I'm going to Dual Wing Beat down the Ogre Pond. Hopefully, Ogre Pond isn't putting on this mask. I don't believe it is. The Dual Wing Beat can get some work done here. So we'll Terrasilize Scissor, we will set up this lovely Reflect here. And I wonder what King Gambit's doing. He could pop a Sword Dance. Now could be a good turn for him to pop a Sword Dance, to be honest with you guys. But I get off this lovely Reflect. He could just be going for Iron Head and my Grimstarl. 
which is definitely an option. But he ends up just attacking the Grimmsnarl. And of course you get a crit. Like, really? You just get a crit like that? The room might reflect and take out my Grimmsnarl. A little annoying, but the Wing Beat's gonna come through here. And Scissor says, no problem. Ogre Pond, get on out my game. So I take out Ogre Pond, they take out Grimmsnarl. I have a feeling they're setting up Swords Dance, and I would hate that. I would really hate that. What you got going, King Gambit? What you what you doing here? I think you might be going for an Iron Head. Yeah, you are. Okay, that works. That works. So he goes for an Iron Head. They were probably just double down to that Grimstar, thinking that I was protected. But from here, I could just go into my Ogre Pond and save my Earth Field, which I think is the best bet. So I'm gonna bring out Ogre Pond here. They're gonna bring out Earth Field. Now it's getting a little scary. Water Earth is a little scary. Um. Huh. I mean, I do have Reflect up. I am a little terrified of this. Um, Horn Leech definitely gotta come out here. And I would love to protect. I might just hard swap into my Earth at this point. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hard swap into my Earth and try to pull up a Horn Leech here. Save my Scissor for another time. Definitely save my Scissor for another time. But that's what's so good about Ogre Pond. It's Grass and Fire. So it can maybe soak up some Surge Strike shots, depending on if they Terrasalize or not. I don't really know, because that hits through Reflect, and it's just a big time problem. But we're going to hope that his Urshfu is going after my Scissor slot. In that case, we're swapping into our own Urshfu. And we can be able to soak up those shots. <clears throat> so there's the big time swap from the Scissor. Come on, show me Surge Strikes into the Scissor slot. I would love that. I would love that. Now comes the Sucker Punch into Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond's gonna take some damage here. Ogre Pond actually outspeeds our Shifu, and we get off some big time damage. So I love the damage there. We go back up to full HP, which is beautiful. And he's gonna go for certain strikes into the Scissor Slot. That's big time. That's a big time swap, especially knowing that our Ogre Pond now outspeeds our Urshu. That's massive. That is massive. But the real question is, do I choice into a close combat and just go after the King Gambit? Because that's the problem. They still have Terror type. They still have Terror type. We don't know who their last Pokemon is. And it's most likely, it's most likely Fluttermane. It most likely is Fluttermane. So I'm gonna actually going to go Ivy Cudgel into the King Gambit slot. And I'm going to choice into certain Strikes into the Urshu slot. So that's going to be my play right here. He's going to end up terrestrializing. That's got to be the King Gambit, right? That's got to be the King Gambit. And I wonder what typing we're going into. Nice little poison typing. Nice, lovely poison typing. So we still have Scissor in the back end, which is great. Love having a Pokemon in the back end. He ends up detecting, but I got Unseen Fist, so I'm hitting through him. I'm hitting right on through him. Get on out of here, Urshfu. You're a goner. It's a good call for me to actually just swap the moves right there, just in case the Terror type came out here. Like I said, I think they have Fluttermane in the back end, but now that they Terrasalize, I have Scissor, so as long as I can just, like, do some big-time damage here, I should be thriving in match number one. Ivy Cudge a popping. Bop. Doing about almost half damage. And a Kaltak Kali coming in hot here, too. Take out Ogre Pond? No, oh, I soaked that. My boy Ogre Pond. So, at that health, Ogre Pond should be able to eat up a... Should be able to eat up a, uh... A sucker punch. But what I want to do here is probably more so just double down into the King Gambit. Because again, if I get rid of it, we're thriving here. And there's Ogre Pond soaking that up, which is beautiful. Surgeon Strike's going to come out here. And is that going to KO? Hmm, that might not KO. I don't think it's going to KO. That's tough news right there. That's tough news because Fluttermane could definitely pick up a double KO. Dashing Gleam picks up the double KO. Okay. I see you. I understand. I understand. The real question is, who do I take out here? I have a nice fire terror type. I don't really see Fluttermane doing too much damage. So I think we just attack the King Gambit here, right? I think we take out the King Gambit. It's a 2v1. I think we bull punch the King Gambit, right? Because Fluttermane's not doing that much damage to us. Whereas this thing right here can really do some damage with some Kowtow Cleave. Sucker Punch can still do damage, but I think we could soak up a Sucker Punch and whatever Fluttermane has to offer. We'll see. So, I'm going to go right after him with Bullet Punch. And I mean, if he's going for Sucker Punch, Bullet Punch will actually come out first, I believe. I think it depends on speed. We'll see. 
We'll see. But I end up just bullet punching this thing down. That's beautiful. Again, I don't believe Fluttermane can KO us. I am going to take a little bit of life orb damage, but it comes down to whether we eat this shot or not. Or if this thing is sashed. Which I have an odd feeling it is sashed for some reason. Dazzling Gleam comes out here. Oh, you might be choice. Yeah, you're definitely choice doing that much damage with that. You're definitely choice. So I should just be able to bullet punch this thing down. This thing seems to be choice specs, and that should be game, right? Scissor coming in clutch. Scissor coming in clutch. So perfect swaps for us. We get out Scissor at the perfect time. We bring him back in at the perfect time, and we end up clutching up match number one. What a hot start in today's video. Rocking out with Scissor and grabbing ourselves a clutch victory. We're hopping into our second match, going up against a pretty good team with a lot of different meta Pokemon. They got Ursaluna in case of Trick Room teams. I don't really see them bringing them in this match. They also have Iron Hands. They have Chiyu, Dragonite. Uh, what is that? Ogre Pond with the Water Mask and Tornado. So, Pokemon that I see them really bringing is Tornado and Ogre Pond, and probably Chiyu, I would think. And then either Dragonite or Iron Hands would be the fourth Pokemon. Again, I don't really see them bringing Ursaluna. So, I think maybe just setting screens again is going to be a good call for us. So, I'm going to go into that. Grimmsnarl can also block Fake Out, which is beautiful. So, I'm definitely going to go into Grimmsnarl here. So, Grimmsnarl will be our lead. We can also lead it with Thunderous if we want to. Maybe just set the rain for Urshifu. But a problem with that would be if Ogre Pond comes out on the field. But I'm going to go Grimmsnarl here. I am also going to go Ogre Pond. I could go Ogre Pond. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Ogre Pond. I'm going to bring Scissor. And I'm going to bring Urshifu in the back end. So same squad as last time. Just a different lead here. I think Ogre Pond is going to be a pretty solid lead. Especially because we could Spiky Shield if they want to go into a Fake Out user. We'll see. We'll see. But we got the Code of the Cloak on Grimstone, which I actually really like. Most of the time, I love Light Clay because Light Clay just makes the screen turn last so much longer. But in a quick offensive team like this, I feel as just having the Code of the Cloak is nice. So, Grimstone, Ogre Pond come out here. Um, I could pop the mask right here. And I think I might. I think that's something I might just do. Put on the mask, pop a Light Screen, and just start Ivy Cudgeling. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Let's do it. Let's drop it. Put the mask on. We're looking for some big time damage right off the rip. So we'll get that attack boost. I maybe should have just Ivy cudgeled the Chiyu. Because Chiyu is pretty much a light. It can't really take hits too well. And Ogre Pond hits like an absolute truck. So this actually might be able to KO Chiyu in one shot. But we decided to take out the Tornadus turn one. We could double down into the, uh, the Chiyu next turn. This works out fine. This works out fine. They pop a tail when we pop a screens that's full of light. Might be going for a heat wave too. Yeah, I'm just going for dark pulse. Ouch. Hit me hard. Hit me hard. Hit me a bit too hard. So that ends up not KO, which is kind of upsetting, to be honest with you guys. And at this point, I'm just gonna spear break the Chiyu and just spiky shield up. That's a little scary that th th that didn't KO. And that Chiyu hits like a truck right now, even through the light stream. I'm gonna put up the spiky shield. I might have to swap my Ogre Pond. Another Dark Pulse is gonna come after me. He tries doubling down with me into Dark Pulse. I wonder what Tornadus is going for. He's going for a Bleak Wind Storm. I was surprised they just doubled down into my, into my Ogre Pond slot. A little weird. I'm able to soak that pretty well. I'm able to drop a nice lovely spirit break here. Get off half damage, which is about about half, right? Which is really good. So another spirit break should KO. But if they're going for bleak wind storms and dark pulses, I could maybe just swap into you and get some first turn priority for next turn. And save the Ogre Pond. Or I can just let him go, because how many turns are left in this tailwind? That's the real question. Two. Yeah, I think now's a good turn to just let Ogre Pond die out. So, I'm going to Spirit Break again. I am going to go into an Ivy Cudgel. He ends up taking out my Ogre Pond. That's no big deal. We got that Light Tween up. And I can bring in Scissor here just to finish off whoever I want. Lovely. Bleak and Storm's going to come through. Grimstone Storm's soaking. He's soaking. He's also got the Cobra Cloak, so his speed's not going to drop from any Bleak and Storms. The so Spirit Break comes out here again. Finishes off the Chiyu. I don't really mind where we're sitting right now. I don't mind, because now's going to be a good time to bring out Scissor. I can bullet punch down the Tornadus, and then Tailwind can end. 
And on top of that, I can potentially just like paralyze whatever Pokemon I throw out here, or Spirit Break it if it's a special attacker, or set up a Reflect if it's a physical attacker. Now it's gonna be Iron Hands. Okay. That's a little scary. I am gonna set up this Reflect though. Actually, we should just double down into you. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And the reason I'm doubling down into you is because I think the Iron Hands is faking out. Yeah, because we can set up Reflect next turn. I like that. There's the fake out. Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly through here. That's totally fine. My Pokemon should be able to serve pretty well. And we'll go from there. So yeah, that works fine. Spirit Break comes through here. We pick up the KO. Now I can set up a Reflect. I can go for Thunder Waves. I'm probably going to set up a Reflect here. Get the screens cooking for Grim Snarl. And go from there. And we waste out Tailwind pretty perfectly. We still have Urshifu in the back end, which is great. We just want to start getting off some damage onto these Pokemon. And yeah, Ogre Pond comes out here. So reflect all day. I'll set up this reflect, neutralize some damage. Um, could go Bug Bite or Dual Wing Beat if I want to. But they still have Terror type, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I kind of just want to Bug Bite you down. I think they're going to put the mask on though. Could be annoying, but I'm going to go for the Bug Bite. They don't go for the mask. We love it. We love it. We absolutely love that. So Reflect comes out here. Ivy Cause is going to come in here. Do not crit me. Thank you. Thank you for not critting me. Bug Bite coming in hot here. And just dumping on Ogre Pie. Let's go. Let's go. Scissor just absolutely lighting it up in today's video. Beautiful. Beautiful. Playing this one so well. Heavy Slam's going to come out here. Take out my Grim Snarl. I am able to have Scissor for another turn. And on top of that, I get to bring out Urshifu. I get to bring out my Urshifu. I'm actually kind of scared here because this thing actually soaks up a lot of shots here. To be honest with you guys, to be honest, this thing actually soaks up a lot of shots. And what would I be better off going into? Close combat? Yeah, close combat's going to do more damage. And then dual wing beat. Okay, that's fine. So he ends up terrestrializing. I'm kind of hoping he's going into grass, right? I'm actually really hoping he's going in the grass. I got Scissor with the wing beat. He's coming straight electric. Straight electric. And that's actually a little bit of a problem for us. Let's combat flying. Doing about half. My defense drops. Hopefully, if he's going for any move, I'd rather him go for a uh, wild charge. Because in that case, wild charge, well, he will actually take recoil. And then, oh, you got a berry. I should have bug bite him. Bug bite him would have been awesome. Take his berry. Here's the soul. But another dual wing beat coming in here. And is he going for the wild charge? He's going for thunder punch. And yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. That pretty much wraps it up. So we're going to lose this match to a bulky Iron Hands. I thought we played this one really well too. The only way we win this one is if Scissor maybe gets a crit. Maybe, right? Maybe. But we got bug bite. Wow, if we if he didn't eat his berry, that would have been clutch to eat up this berry, but we're gonna go for a bug bite here. Almost KO and oh my lord. If you didn't have a berry, we win this all day. That was so close. That was so close. Scissor hitting like an absolute truck. There's match number two. We're one and one. Let's go hop to the third. Look for that two one winning record. Final match on its way. And we're going up against a Galarian Zapdos team. Galarian Zapdos is actually a Pokemon that I just recently featured on channel. So if you haven't checked out that video, definitely go check it out. But they also have Shen Pao, they have Tornadus, Fluttermane, Heatran, and Dragonite. Just a straight meta team. Straight meta team. Let's try to win this one for you guys. But um, who should I lead here? They got a lot of physical attackers with actually it's half and half. They got the Dragonite, Shen Pao, Bird as physical attackers, and then Heatran, Fluttermane, and Tornadus on the other side of things. I mean, Grimstar is going to be pretty good for us. I mean, screen some speed control with uh, Thunder Waves. I just think you can't go wrong with leading him. So I'm going to end up leading him. Thunders, what do you do? You got rain. You could go with a little bit of weather control, terrain control. I don't really like you here too much, but Grimstar is going to be the lead here. And maybe do we just go for a graph? Because I could pop a Trick Room. I could pop a trick room. Their team's fast. Their team's fast. So you know what? I think I might just go for like a trick room player. Their team's fast. Their team's a bit too fast. A bit too fast. So I'm going to 
go that. I'm gonna go Scissor here as well. And then I'm just gonna bring Ogre Pond and Urshfu. I got two seconds to lock it in. I got it off. But I just think we have to throw a curveball at him, considering this team is so meta. If we just go Grimstrong here instead of screens, I think they're just gonna they're just gonna pounce on us, right? It's just gonna be a threat. It's just gonna be a little bit of a problem. So I'm kinda hoping they lead like Tornado or something. Maybe try to pop a tailwind. But they end up going with Shen Pound Two two super strong Pokemon. I got scissor on the field, which is beautiful. Which is very beautiful. I think from here it's just a definite trick from here. And I might bug bite you down. I could bullet punch. It also terrestrialize. But uh what I mean, I think protects or something, right? Then at that point I could just go after Shen Pao. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I think Fluttermane swaps protects. Yep, there's the swap. So we're going after Shen Pao with the bullet punch instead of the Fluttermane, which is good. And he ends up swapping into Heatran. Heatran is such a good Pokemon. Bullet punch is going to be cooking over into this slot. It's going to bring this thing down to the Sash. The Focus Sash. Heatran's typing is phenomenal up against us. Especially if it has like a Grass Terror type. Third Chop comes out here and for Rigor Ramp able to survive. I wasn't expecting that thing to actually have throat chop I was expecting a sucker punch but we had armor tail out here of course the thing is rocket throat chop we still end up soaking it and we pop a nice lovely trick room so we have trick room out and about I got two decently fast Pokemon in the back end he's gonna end up bringing out Fluttermane here and I think at this point Fluttermane's gotta protect right correct statement it's gotta be correct statement and what do we even go for here maybe try to get special defense drop onto this thing This is just like, we have a problem right here with Heatran. <laughs> we really do. But I'm gonna end up protecting Scissor. I might Terrasalize him next turn. He ends up just withdrawing Fluttermane. Okay. I was so confused at what the pullout was for. I should've went for Dazzling Gleam. Should've went for Dazzling Gleam. I don't know why they put, put out Fluttermane just to swap it like that. Psychic's gonna get cooking here. Do about five damage. We don't even get the drop, and out comes a Heat Wave. So we're gonna say bye bye to Frigograph. Thank you for popping Trick Room. And from here, do I Terrasalize into Fire Scissor? Definitely is a possibility. Definitely is a possibility. Or I could just go into Ogre Pond. It's Mold Breaker. Pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. And this is pretty nice with Mold Breaker Ogre Pond. I know speed's kind of a issue for us now, even though we popped Trick Room. But I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel down the Heatran slot, and I'm gonna swap into Urge for you. Save my Scissor for back end. I gotta get rid of the Heatran first and foremost, so. I'm gonna Terrasalize it. I'm gonna look to just absolutely dump onto the Heatran and kinda go from there. But that's one of the best parts about Ogre Pond is Mole Breaker. It's so good. It hits right through abilities. They end up terrestrializing, and he is just going, mm, Big time problem here. Big time problem here. East speed's looking scary, and now we know that East speed is going after Ogre Pond. So we gotta hope to be able to eat up these shots here. So I think he's going for East speed and the heat wave. That's why I put on the mask, too, is to kind of neglect some of the heat wave damage, or negate some of that heat wave damage. So we gotta hope we can actually soak this up. East speed coming out here. This is gonna hit like a truck. Bit too scary for me. I don't think we're eating up any shot here. Heat wave coming in hot here. My soul. My soul. So I just lose my Terra. East speed doing me dirty. And I don't like where we're sitting. I don't like where we're sitting. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. We gotta hope Urshfu can eat up an East speed too. If Urshru can eat up an East Speed, we have a shot at sitting in a pretty good position. So I'm gonna go Bullet Punch here. I'm just gonna choice into Surgeon Strikes. How many turns is left in Trick Room? Two. Kinda hurts the soul. Kinda hurts the soul. So East Speed coming out here. That's obviously going after Urshru. And I don't think he's soaking that. We do soak that. But Heatran's gonna go first, which is a little bit of an issue. Bullet Punch flies through here. Can you miss your Heat Wave, Heatran? Can you miss your Heat Wave? It was favor. Hold up, who's dodging that? Urshifu dodged that. Man, if I would have kept my terror, we actually probably could have won this match. 
If I would have kept my terror type instead of using it on the Ogre Fine, we probably would have won this match. To be honest, because I would have Terrasalized Scissor there, my Urshfu would have still been alive. East Speed would have still been a little bit of a threat, but at that point, I could just bull punch the Fluttermane and kind of get after the uh, the Dragonite. But if we do Terrasalize, then East Speed can hit us really hard too. Yeah, it's just a tough matchup, to be honest with you guys. Dragonite coming in with the normal terror type, E Speed Choice Band. Crazy strong damage. I'm just going to run this match. We go one and two, but we have three hard fought battles. Not too bad today. Went one and two and grabbed ourselves a losing record. Lost match number two and match number three all in a close fashion. So, did not think I played this team bad, but I definitely feel as I showcase these Pokemon really, really well. We had Scissor with the Life Orb hitting like an absolute truck with Bull Punch, Bug Bite, and Dual Wing Beat. Urshfruit always doing his work. Ogre Pond at the same time. Then the other three Pokemon, Grim Snarl, Thunders, and Fergraph. Very situational, but all doing their support work at the same time. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you're your best positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.